Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you for joining and welcome to this month's Connect with Control M. My name is Cody Belcher and I'm a TSA based in the America's Control M support team. Today we'll be talking about securing the communication between the Control M Enterprise Manager and Control M Server. First, we'll take a we'll talk about the scenario in which we're going to configure our Control M Enterprise Manager and Control M Server. Then we'll move on to a discussion about implementing SSL for the communication between these two. Next, we'll have a demonstration. Here we'll show you how to deploy and configure SSL for this communication. We'll follow that up with a short recap of what we covered today. Then we'll finish up with the Q&A session. In the first presentation of this series, we talked about securing the communication between the Control M Enterprise Manager and its clients. Next in this series, we talked about securing the communication between the Control M server and the Control M agents. Now, let's tie it all together by talking about the communication between the Control M server and the Control M Enterprise Manager. If you think about this architecture, the Control M server is in the center. If you enable SSL on the Control M server without the appropriate configuration, communication to all of the Control M agents will stop. We will discuss this more after the demo. We strongly encourage thorough testing of any SSL implementation before making any changes to a production environment. The first step is always going to be to obtain our certificates. It's important to remember that these certificates need to have both the email set and the client and server usage flags. Otherwise, the communication between the enterprise manager and control and server will fail. As you generate these certificates, you should check with your security administrator to ensure that all of your company's security guidelines are followed. Next, you, should, you will generate a, the certificate deployment package using a BMC provided script on the enterprise manager. Once those packages are generated, you will deploy the packages to the relevant control components and install them, which will automatically put the certificate in place to be used by the control M application. Finally, we will enable the relevant control M components to communicate via SSL. Let's move on to our demo, where we're going to show you how to implement SSL between the control M server and enterprise manager. Here we can see our control M server or our control M enterprise manager is connected to two control M servers. And it's currently not using SSL. We're going to minimize our CCM, and open a Windows command prompt. And we're going to paste in an open SSL command to see some information about PKCS12 certificate package provided to us by our InfoSec team. We scroll up, we can see the certificate that we'll be using as well as the certificate authority that signed that certificate. This package also contains the private key of our certificate. Now that we have our certificates, we can move on to generating the certificate deployment package. This is done using the manage underscore SSL underscore BYO script seen here. Since we're using the PKCS12 format, we provide that as the option on the input flag, as well as we're generating first for the Control M Enterprise Manager, and we need to give a specific output directory different for each component we're generating for. We'll go ahead and run this now. Once this finishes, we can then run a similar command but for the control M server. We see it's completed successfully. The control M server's command is similar, however we've changed component to control M server and given it a different output directory. You'll notice that the output for the two different components are slightly different, but at the end it will notify us that it completed successfully. Now that the certificate deployment packages are created, we can move on to the step to install the certificates. First, we'll install the EM certificates by navigating to the Control M Enterprise Manager default directory, and then we will run the setup.bat from the certificate deployment package. Since we're doing SSL between the Enterprise Manager and Control M server, we need to provide the EM-CTM option. 
and we can see it has completed successfully. Now we must do the control M server. We'll navigate to the control M server's installation directory and run the setup.bat from the control M server's deployment package. Again, the output is different than the enterprise manager, but it, at the end it does tell us that it completed successfully. We'll now enable SSL for the control M server on this Windows host. We can do that from the CTM menu utility. Go to option four for parameter customization, then option three for system parameters, option two to get into the system parameters again, then in to go to the next page, and on option nine, we see secure sockets layer. By default, it is set to disabled. We can change it to enabled. We'll save our changes and quit out. After that, we need to recycle the control M server and its configuration agent. We'll do this with one command strung together. Now, let's move on to our Linux control M server to demonstrate the process is largely the same no matter what operating system you're on. We've already copied our pa deployment package to this Linux host, so we can simply run it from the home directory of the install. On Linux, it's going to be a setup.sh instead of a .bat, and we'll use the same CTM menu command to enable SSL. Option four, then three, and then two, and on the next page, we'll see the same option nine for secure sockets layer. Change it to enabled and save and quit. After that, just like we did on Windows, we will recycle the control M server and its configuration agent. As that's happening, we'll move on to the CCM to make changes to the control M enterprise manager settings. First, we'll open up the EM system parameters and under advanced, find the CMS COM mode system parameter, which by default is set to TCP and we'll change it to SSL. Next, we will unmanage both of our control M server definitions and then go to the properties section of each control and server definition and change the protocol under the communication section to, from TCP to SSL enable. Once we repeat this for each control and server definition, we'll then be ready to recycle the enterprise manager CMS component, which we can do from the CCM. Recycling the CMS will cause a temporary disconnect for the CCM. Once it comes back up, we will be reconnected and then we will be ready to remanage our control M servers. While we're waiting on this, it's a good time to reemphasize that the certificates need to have the email field populated as well as the client and server usage flag set else the communication between the EM and the server will fail if these are required. Let's check while we're waiting on this to make sure our configuration agent started on both control M servers. We see that it did on both. That's great. Okay, our CMS is back up. So we can manage the control M servers. If we go to the Control M Enterprise Manager, we see that our gateways are, are already using SSL. Shortly, we will see the Control M servers reconnect. Once, once the CMS has repulled them for availability. And there they are. We now see that our Enterprise Manager is connected to both its Control M servers using SSL. With that, let's move back to our presentation to recap what we did. The first step was to obtain the certificates. 
Don't forget that the certificates need to have a populated email field and both the server and client usage flag set. Otherwise, the communication between the EM and the control M server would fail. The next step we did was to generate the certificate deployment package using the BMC supplied script on the Enterprise Manager as you saw in the demo. After that, the packages were deployed to the respective control and components, and the certificates were automatically installed for use by control M. Finally, we configured, we enabled SSL so that the Enterprise Manager and control M server would communicate using SSL as you saw in the CCM and control and CTM menu utility. As I mentioned earlier, there are important considerations when configuring SSL on the control M server. During this presentation, we looked at the control and server to control and enterprise manager communication. Enabling SSL on the control and servers requires certificates to be deployed to the control and agents and properly configured. If this is not done, you will lose all connectivity to the control and agents without the certificates. The process for deploying certificates to the control and agents is documented in the control and SSL guide, as well as in the second presentation of the series. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to attend this webinar. We hope that the information provided has been helpful. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can view our past webinars on YouTube and iTunes. Today's webinar will be posted to YouTube in a couple of days. You can also use today's link to view it. Our next webinar topic will be on Workload Change Manager version 918.